Hi everybody. Um, I did my clinic visit yesterday and I had my sweetie help me because I needed two giant oxygen tanks. They were kind of like missiles. Itty bitty top missiles. It was pretty hilarious. And I had my rollator and I did pretty good going down the steps but getting into the van holy crap I used the wrong leg to do that one let me tell you it was like trying to it was like trying to watch a two two year old climb into a van by themselves yeah not very good and as you can tell in that little corner of the screen there that's my sweetie <coughs> He's such a good man. He grabs and complains because I ask him to do a lot of things. Because I'm in, apparently I'm needy. And I know I'm needy. And sometimes I'm lazy. So I ask him to get me things. I will literally text him. We are like, hey sweetie, I love you. Can you please get me ice cream and chocolate sauce? So yeah, there you go. <laughs> but um, I actually passed my clinic visit. Thank goodness for that. I dropped a little bit of weight, which is not very bad, I guess, but um, I went from 93 pounds to 92.8, so that's not very good-ish. But um, I've been eating the protein bars as much as I can, um, and I've been trying to eat, eat uh, regular food, not just protein bars. I know protein bars taste so good. Especially the kind bars. Oh my god. They have this a limited edition um, pumpkin pie protein bar from the kind. Oh my gosh. I ate the entire box. Uh, they had 12 bars. And in the span of 10 days, I ate the entire box. And then they had sea salt caramel with dark chocolate. Oh my goodness. So amazing. Oh, and they've got some other ones too. Whoever says that protein bars are gross, um, the kind bars are freaking delicious. They are so good. They have almonds and the nuts that you need and the little little sweetness of fruits. Because I think I had mine had cranberries in there. <coughs> Pardon me coughing fit I had to spit but like um I went there and I also brought some masks that I bought from Amazon um, to the second floor to North which is my home sweet home my second home where all the CF patients are located and um, I donated a bunch of masks for them there are three designs but they're black but um they they're uh, if anyone's ever seen my, um, my, 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 my Facebook. Oh, good. Oh, I know it's early in the morning. Eh. I'm a little tired. But, um, I modeled three masks, um, on Facebook. One has, um, like big lips that have, like, goofy teeth hanging out. And, um, one has... Uh, the lips are red and the teeth are white. <laughs> um, one has a white mustache in the middle, and then another one has a white crawl skull and crossbones in the middle. So those were the three designs. They came with um, 10 each, so it's like 30 pieces, but I kept some for me, especially the ones that I modeled, because when you're when you have cystic fibrosis, you each have your own little um, distinct germs or you know your own little um, thing that makes you sick so whenever someone donates some something that is from another CF patient a sick person they have to sanitize and wait 24 hours to let it dry and you know be clean so they have to wait till I think today or tomorrow to get the masks because in the hospital all they really have is just those really ugly yellow masks that are just really gross. I would, I hated those masks. They were stupid. 
And I just figured, you know, why not just have a little, you know, something cool. So I donated those ones. I do have three more that are um, different designs, but they are cloth masks. And those ones are specially for me. Or specifically, my bad, not specially. Specifically for me. One has a little piggy design, I think, I think. I'm not entirely sure. And then another one has um, like a little smiley face, I think. Or a winky face, I don't know, it's like an emoji thing. And then one has a little kitty face. And oh, I wore my kitty face yesterday. And this is my mask that I wore yesterday. It's pretty cool. See, kitty face. I was a kitty yesterday. This was me, dressed up. I even had my all-time favorite <coughs> my all-time favorite um, uh, shirt that I love the most because I'm a big Ruby fan um, that's on you know on Netflix and YouTube that originated from YouTube actually but yeah this is my 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 shirt Ruby it's got uh, Yang Xiaolan she's yellow uh, Blake Lively, she's black. It's got Weiss Schneed, she is uh, an heiress, and she's white. And Ruby Rose, she is the red. She's the R in Ruby, and the letters actually spell out Ruby. And you see the little, the little um, things on there. Isn't that cool? My sweetie got it for me for my birthday. Uh, last year <coughs> Or the year before I don't know But he got it for my birthday Which is really cool because he visited me in the hospital For the first time And oh my goodness He did not like it The traffic up here Well up to uh, Indianapolis was crazy People don't know how to drive Let me tell you But um Uh he managed, you know, he visited for my birthday, which was really cool. And, you know, uh, I thought it was really cool. And he got it for me. Um, I thank him a lot, you know. I give him gripe, I give him grief a lot, but he's, he's really, he's, he's just the sweetest man ever. I can't believe I'm going to marry him soon. I've got to, um, we've got to, I've got to get an actual Indiana State ID. And we've got to um, get uh, enough money and have enough oxygen to go through with it. <laughs> so it's not a matter of if, it's when we get the stuff. Because I already know. He's sticking by me and I'm sticking by him. Stuck together with Gorilla Glue ain't never going to come off. Never. <laughs> but I just wanted to give you guys a little... A little um, update on how I'm doing. So, you know, I'm home. Passed. Took a little bit to, you know, get there and back. Now I'm hungry, so I will catch you later. Um, as always, you know, uh, please help support the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation um, in any way possible. If you can give your spare time to, you know, help kids, their teenagers, you know, with CF, they help them in any way, shape, or form, give money to the, uh, to the charity, you know, CF Foundation, help research, you know, help with research, um, do the Walk with Strides, uh, CF Walk, that's, I think, a, I think they said it's going to be in June. I don't know, you know, anything, done into the hospital, you know, put a, a purple ribbon, you know, for CF, anything, just to let you know, let us know that, you know, you care and you're out there supporting us, um, we'd love it, actually, <laughs> um, but, uh, as always, uh, be part of the CF family and together we are 
CF Strong. Bye.